according to some of our marajir, learning those laws which are specifically related to your business, to your livelihood, to your speciality, is wajib. According to other marajir, it is rec- recommended. So of course it depends on your marja. But you can see here the very minimal is that there is a recommendation that whatever your specialty is in life, whatever your area of interest is, at the very least you should avail yourself of the laws that are going to affect you. Let us have a look at some of the opinions of our Maraj al-Kiram. I bring with me the Tudih al-Masail by His Eminence Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Hussein al-Sistani. May Allah preserve him. He says the following. Page 372 in his book of transactions. It is recommended. Mas'ala 2059. It is recommended for a businessman to learn the rules of daily transactions. In fact, if due to ignorance, he may necessarily contradict the laws of Sharia, then it is obligatory upon him to learn them. Can you see? The starting point of Sayyidi Sistani is that your, the things that you are going to be specialist in or contracting in, it is recommended. But if out of ignorance, there is actually a law that you might be so regularly participating in that you need to know about, and the, the, the likelihood is you're going to fall into sin, then actually it is wajib, it is obligatory upon you to be able to learn. And then Ayatollah Asistani quotes a hadith of our sixth Imam alayhi salam, a person who wishes to engage in business should learn its rules and laws. And if he makes any transaction without learning them, he may suffer because of entering into a void or doubtful transaction. Rule from Ayatollah Asistani. Summary of rulings according to the verdicts of Grand Ayatollah Sheikh Nasir Makarim Ash-Shirazi. May Allah preserve him. One of the grand maraji of our era. His book of Masail. The rules of selling and buying. Article, i.e. Mas'ala 722. It is obligatory upon every Muslim to learn the rules of business transactions to the extent of his need. Yes? So if you participate in a particular field of business... Let us make an assumption. You are a lawyer. You are a doctor. You are a seamstress. You are a grocer. Whatever your area of business, whatever your area of expertise, there are certain things that are haram upon you, there are certain things that might be wajib upon you. According to the extent of the needs of your knowledge, according to Ayatollah Makarim, it is obligatory upon every Muslim to learn the rules of transactions to the extent of your needs. It is obligatory. I continue to read his mas'ala. It is obligatory upon the ulama to teach these rules to the people. So I am not alim. Sheikh is alim. But it is obligatory for the ulama to tell you about these rules. So I know many a times you'll have sat through many lectures be honest, how many times have you ever sat through lectures talking about the rules of business, the rules of uqud, the rules of your daily livelihood? None. I, I would argue very, very few times have you ever come across a series, yes? Ayatollah Makarim says, it is obligatory upon the ulama to teach these rules. The same way it's obligatory for you to learn the masail of your salah and your psalm, he says... It is obligatory upon every Muslim to learn the rules of the business transactions to the extent of your needs. If you're a doctor and you're being asked to switch off someone's life support, you need to know what the rules are. If you're going to have a shop and you're going to try to sell certain things and buy certain things, you need to know what is allowed and what is not allowed. These are the daily rules that you will come across. 
So these are some of the opinions of our Maraja al-Kiram.